What's up guys, John here and welcome to Inside the Harmony episode number 12. If this is your first time tuning in, we're going to be learning a bunch of cool chords in the key of C. I'm going to take you through a few progressions and we're going to pick up where we left off in episode number 11. We were looking at chords in the key of C and we were moving in fifths. So we were starting on a C chord and then moving to a G and then G to D minor. So we'll be using the chords diatonic to the key of C. But we're gonna add one twist in today's episode. We're gonna take that root position triad and we're gonna take the middle note. So if this is C, E, G or root third, fifth, we're gonna take the third and throw it up the octave. So we're now gonna play C, G, E. And we're gonna use these types of voicings, this sort of spread sound, and it immediately gives you a really cool sound. It sounds very orchestral. Let me play the progression for you. So it's going to go C. So we've got that first chord here, which is 10 on the D string, 12 on the G string, and 12 on the E string. This is your C chord. And we're going to go to a G like this. So we'll play 9 on the D string, 8 on the B string, and 10 on the E string. Then we'll go to D minor. Same strings, we're going to play 7, 6, 10. Then we'll go to A minor. Same strings, 7, 5, 8. And then E minor, 5, 5, 7. Right? So we've got... E minor. And you can bar it, or you can play one finger on each note like that. Then I'll play the next couple chords. So starting from the E minor, we'll go E minor. B diminished, F to C. So the E minor, 5, 5, 7. And then we'll go to B diminished. We'll play 8 on the A string, 7 on the G string, and 7 on the E string. And then 8, 5, 5. 8 on the A string, 5 on the G string, and 5 on the E string. And then 7 on the A string, 5 on the G string, and 8 on the B string. This is a C in first inversion. Now we've got the E. So they, they're starting on a C chord here and then ending on a C chord. And this is a really cool shape. I use this all the time. So let me play that first cycle for you. So we're going to go C, G. D minor, A minor, E minor, B diminished, F, C. Then we're going to continue now starting from this chord. So we'll go C, G, D minor, A minor, E minor, B diminished, F, C. So let me break that down for you. We'll be starting on that C chord, and then we'll move to a G, which is a bit of a stretch here, but this is a cool chord. Five on the A string, four on the G string, and eight on the B string. If that's too hard to reach, you can throw this B to the high E string and play it like this, which is another good shape. I use that all the time. We're gonna be using it as another chord in a minute. So here's the G. And then we're going to go to D minor, which looks like your D minor bar chord, right? But we're just playing a select number of strings from it to get sort of the core elements of the chord, the root, the third, and the fifth. So we've got five on the A string, seven on the D string, and six on the B string. This is D minor. And then we'll go to A minor with the... This has got the third in the bass. It's kind of like this chord we started on, but we just lower that and we get the minor version of it. So this would be like an A major chord and then we'll drop that. 
A minor. This is three on the A string, two on the G string, and five on the B string. A minor. And then we'll go to E minor. Another really cool E minor chord. There's a few different ways you can play this. Try it like this. First finger on the A string, second fret, third finger on the fifth fret of the D string, and fourth finger on the fifth fret of the B string. E minor. Then we'll go to B diminished. Another really great chord. Two on the A string, three on the D string, and three on the B string. And we'll finish off with an F to a C. Great shapes. So we've got five on the E string, three on the D string, five on the G string, and then the, this note will stay, these two notes are going to drop down, and I've got a C with a G in the bass. If you've been following these videos, keep coming back to this chord. This is one of my favorite chord shapes. So we've got three on the E string, two on the D string, and five on the G string. And this, this is a very common progression, right? Four to one. Or we could do it here. So we're getting all these possibilities of ways of navigating these typical chord movements with really smooth voice leading. So let me play that second cycle for you, starting from this chord shape. It's going to go C, G, D minor, A minor, E minor, B diminished, F, C. We're going to do one more cycle, but before we do, we're going to take this chord up the octave. We're kind of getting towards the, the low end of the guitar here, so we'll, we'll just take that shape up the octave. So the way you can play that up the octave is 10 on the A string, 9 on the G string, and 8 on the E string. And the next set of chords is going to go like this. C, G, D minor, A minor, E minor, B diminished, F, C. So starting from here, we'll move to G, play 10 on the A string, 7 on the G string, and 7 on the E string. So we've got this C to G here. And then we'll go D minor to A minor. Such cool chords here. I love this stuff. So we've got A, a uh, 8 on the A string, 7 on the G string, and 1 on the E string. Or first finger, 5 on the E string. So one more time. 8, 7, 5, D minor. The root's right in the middle. Then we'll go to A minor, 7, 5, 5, 7 on the A string, 5 on the G string, 5 on the E string. E minor, again, the shape we used earlier for D minor. A lot of repeating shapes in these progressions. Hopefully, if you're working through some of these episodes, it's starting to click. You've got 7 on the A string, 9 on the D string, and 8 on the B string. This is E minor. Then we'll go to B diminished, 5 on the A string, 4 on the G string, 6 on the B string, and we'll finish with F to C. And you could also do this like this, which is nice with the open strings, or a shape that is going to be similar to where we started. So same shape, just down the octave. So check this out. So F to C, you've got three on the A string, two on the G string, and one on the E string. That's F. And then it's going to resolve to keeping the root the same, three on the A, five on the D, and five on the B string, which is one octave lower than our very first chord in this episode. So the last cycle, starting up here, 
Let's review it one more time. We've got C, G, D minor, A minor, E minor, B diminished, F, C. Okay, let's try all three of these progressions together now. We're going to start up on this chord where we began, and we're going to finish down the octave. Here we go. C, G, D minor, A minor, E minor, B diminished, F, C. We'll keep going. C, G, D minor, A minor, E minor, B diminished, F, C. Then we'll take this up the octave, C, G, D minor, A minor, E minor, B diminished, F, C. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned some cool new chord shapes in this episode. Be sure to check out some of the other episodes we've got on the channel. We've also got a series called Inside the Solo. It's all about soloing. And as my free gift to you for watching this video, you can click the link below and get a free PDF of over 100 pages of licks and exercises. It's a book I wrote called Melodic Expressions. It's on the iTunes bookstore for $15. You can get it for free in the link below as my gift to you. Make sure you subscribe. We've got new videos dropping every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thanks for your support. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button, and we'll see you guys in the next video.